Okay, guys. My name's Christina, and I am new here to YouTube. And this is my first video, actually. And we are going to make it a haul. Just because um, I recently got a bunch of stuff. I actually recently moved about an hour and a half away from where I was living. And um, so I'm also an hour and a half away from the Sephora. And I'm not sure if there's a mall about an hour away. But I'm not sure if they have a... I know they don't have Sephora. I'm not sure if there's an Ulta there or not. Let's pray. Um, anyway, so I just kind of was stocking up before I came down here as well as um, my Naked 1 and 2 palette got stolen. So I went to go repurchase and um, got some more stuff. But anyways, let us begin. And thank you for watching before I go on. Um, and if you don't want to see a haul, then go ahead and X out and hopefully I'll see you again. But the, first, I got Pureology shampoo. This is the Hydrate uh, for Dry Color Treated Hair. This is the purple bottles. I got the shampoo and the conditioner. I wouldn't really say that I have dry hair, but um, that's the, just the Pureology I started off using, and I try. I mean, I used it forever. Um, I mean, some I might have used a little bit of the Bedhead. Oh. It was for blondes. I don't know what it was. It was the big bottles and it was like purple and the shampoo was purple. Anyways. Um, and that did fine for me. But I try, I decided to switch to a, the Pureology in the yellow bottle. I think it's like for platinums. Blondes. Anyways. I tried that and oh sister it did not work. Um, it just it completely... I thought something tragically was happening to my hair. The color, the texture, the oiliness, the everything. And so I, I mean that's probably not for everybody, it just happened to me. Um, I switched then to a Redken, but I've never used Redken. And it still didn't fix it. Not that there was anything wrong with that one. My hair was already messed up and it just wasn't fixing it. Um, anyways, I went and got my hair colored again and cut and everything. And after that, went back to this so that we're back to normal. <laughs> it's not like my hair turned purple or anything. It just wasn't working for me. So, I got that. That was a very long rant over some shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> Bear with me. Uh, next, I got the Victor and Rolf fl Flower Balm. Um, I love this stuff. I've wonted it for a while. I have the Bon Bon, bon by them. It's in a little bow bottle love that stuff. If you're not checked it out, check it out. Sephora doesn't have it, but um, I believe like Macy's and Nordstrom stuff like that has it. This is my flower balm kit. It comes with the obviously the perfume and that's a 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. I got that, the shower gel, and the body cream. Um, I always t tend to get gift sets and I don't know why I never use the lotion or the body cream. What I never use any of that. But I just feel like it's a better deal while I'm there, and I should do it. So, like I said, well, I didn't say it, but there's not a lot of Urban Decay in this fall, this haul, so bear with me. First, obviously, I went for the Naked Palace. I'll show that in a second. But while I was there looking at the Urban Decay stuff, someone said something about this brush, and I've never heard of it. They were, I mean, raving about it. It's awesome. It's amazing. Yada, yada, yada. So, I decided to get it. Um, it's the Good Karma Optical Blurring Brush. Like I said, I really haven't heard much about it, but I decided to pick it up. It looks like this, and it's a lot like um, the foundation brush that I've used before. I either use a brush, this one, well, actually this one, it's by Sephora. The handle's broken off, sorry. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's a foundation brush, and see, they do look a lot alike. This one is bigger. They feel, this one's a lot more stiff, though. Anyways, we're going to try it. I'll let you know. Oh, along with that, I got the, the Naked Skin Foundation. I've used this before. I loved it. Um, it's just one of those things I went to something else and refound it again. So, I used to be in shade 6, and now I'm in 4.5. I haven't been tanning so much lately. But, um, I actually got color matched on my neck to a 5. Um, but I got 4.5. I don't know why. I just did. Thought it looked better. Um, so... Now that I live in the middle of nowhere. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, <laughs> there's really not much around here, but it's, it's, it's working. I'm getting used to it. Um, 
We did travel. We traveled before, but now that I'm down here, I feel like I'm really going to be, I mean, not, I mean, not like traveling, traveling, but you know, it's about an hour and a half from my mom and all my friends. So, um, I mean like overnight stuff. My fiance lives out of state. We do go see his family a lot. So I just thought this would be really great. This is the Naked on the Run. Let me scoop it this way so I can show y'all some. Ooh, this stuff. Um, like I said, I just thought it'd be great for traveling. This is what it looks like. So you have your bronzer, blush, highlight, five eyeshadows, two mattes, three shimmers. And I mean, you have, you have the matte. Hmm. I'm so weird about getting into stuff like that. Um, ugh, anyway, I'm so weird. OCD. Um, the two mattes are brown, my, nice brown shades and the shimmers. And then this, I would say these like come out of Naked 1 and 2. And then this would be from Naked 3. So it's like the blushier. More, um, what am I trying to think of? Rose gold color. So it also comes with a lip gloss, an eyeliner, and a mascara. I thought this was great. I'm known for overpacking and, um clothes and makeup so I thought that was great all you'd have to do is you know get your foundation your concealer um, face products and then brushes and you're good to go so I picked that up Solo. okay so like I said I went to go get the naked palette so I got those um I'd had them previously this is just a repurchase um naked one Naked 2 and Naked 3. I'm sure there's plenty of tutorials with these on here on YouTube. I don't I didn't have the third one, but I decided to pick that up. Um I got Naked 2 Basics. I had the first Naked Basics. I like it a lot. Um I actually used it today, so just decided to pick that one up as well. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to separate this stuff so I know what I've told you and what I have not. So, next, I also got the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I've never used this stuff before. Um, it's very popular, but I've used... I, always, I mean, I've used it, like, in the samples for the Naked palettes, but um, I use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I really like it. Love that stuff. It works great. I just decided to try something new. So these are all I've just I'm this is a lot of new. Not a lot, but more than normal. Mostly I normally repurchase a lot, but anyways. Um I decided to try out the Urban Decay lip products. I've never tried any of their lip products at all. Lip glosses or anything. So I got some lip liners and lipsticks. The first one is in Venom. This is it. I don't know if this camera's gonna focus, but if you film with a Rebel T1i, or if you ever have filmed anything with it, let me know about the um, autofocusing, because we got some problems. Anyways, um, this is the Venom. It's a nice, plum, dark, purpley shade. Great for fall. Looking forward to it. Next, now that's like making me nervous if I'm in focus. I'm sure I am, but... <laughs> Uh, next is Manic in, a lip in their lip liner. Oh, and these are the 24-7 Glide-On Lip Pencil. Sorry. New to this thing. Like I said, this is in Manic. And this is just a darker nude color. It looks like so. It's very pretty. Hopefully this is focusing for y'all. That gets you. Yeah. Color comparison, I guess. And the next color is in 69. I've been eyeing this color for a while. Not necessarily the lip liner, but the lipstick. And I got to think about when I was buying the lipstick, I was like, mm, I don't know if I have like a really good red lip liner. That, that sounds crazy, but I mean, they're all like the dark, folly or nude or, you know. Anyway, so I picked this up. And it's just a bright red. Um, I am from Arkansas, so it's a great color to wear to those Razorback games. If you're going to live in Arkansas or have any red team that you root for. Um, let's see. So 
So like I said, I also got the lipsticks. I got, I did not get the Venom, but I got the um, 69. And you know, I thought when I swatched this that it was like a bluer tone. And I guess it depends on the lighting. Cause like here it looks blue tone. Maybe it looks more of a orangey tone. I don't know. I think it's more of a blue tone red when you swatch it. And hopefully when you wear it, so we'll see. But it, ne nevertheless, it's great for Razorback games. And like I said, I've been eyeing this color for a while. Next is Manic. And it's that dark nude color. Well, it's on, it's more of like a reddish, not red, mm -mm. it's a great fall color. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to have to get better at this stuff. But it is a dark, way darker than a nude. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Can't wait to wear it. And then well, I got one more and it is in Liar. I'll, sh I'll compare these two so you see. Because Liar is more of a nude color. I mean, it's a darker nude for sure. See? But it is a nude. And this. So this one's Manic and this one's Liar. Manic, Liar. This one, I mean, you know, so I wouldn't say this is a nude now that I compare them next to each other, but they're both gorgeous. Great fall colors, like I always say, because, you know, that's all my lipstick collection consists of. Fall colors and red. <laughs> and, I mean, I got a couple bright pinks in this haul, so I'll be able to show you that. Was that all my Urban Decay? I think it was. Okay, so next, let me do all the high end and then I'll get into the drugstore. Uh, there's drugstore and high end in this haul. I think that's it. Right there. Okay, so next I got the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color Mother. I think this is the n one of the new ones. I haven't tried any of these ever. So excited about it. I've been hearing a lot lately about them. I'm assuming because she, she came out with some new colors. Um, I, like I said, I believe this is one of them. It's a nice soft pink. Not too soft though. Um, I don't really get into like super soft, like nudie. I'm trying to stay away from nudes. I do have a lot of nudes, but I try to stay away. I'm trying to stay away from They just don't look good on me, I feel like. But anyways, um, this is another one. This is in Bachelorette. This is just a bright fuchsia pink. I hope, I hope the color is picking up right on camera. It looks a little orange maybe, but this is the two next to each other. Excited to try those out. I've never tried those either, like I said. Mm, let's just carry on the look this little lip thing I have going. I also got this Too Faced Melted. And with this and one of the Everlastings, I got that little Sephora bag that they were giving away with samples in it, but I can't find it for the life of me and it's driving me crazy. Crazy. Anyways, that was off topic. This is the Too Faced Melted. I haven't tried these at all. I know crazy everybody's and their brother has tried these. I just couldn't find a shade that I really liked and they came out with more and I just, I mean, I never went back and looked because I could never find one. And so finally I decided to look and I found this one. Melted Ruby, also another great red color. <laughs> you can see my trend. Um, this is what it looks like. Great for hog games. I'm getting ready for the fall, y'all. Getting on this. Next, I've never used this either. Um, this is Kiehl's Powerful Wrinkle Reducing Cream. Lady that was there said that she liked it a lot. So, I haven't even smelled it yet. It doesn't have much of a smell. But I was just, I don't know why I got, <laughs> I'm not low on mine. This is what I use. Um, just I know this is a whole book. I use the Fresh Lotus Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream with Super 7 Complex. I love this stuff. It smells amazing. I just decided to pick this up because it was in front of my face, I guess. <laughs> but, and she said she liked it, so. Mm, I think this is the last high-end product I have. This. This, y'all. I've been waiting to get this, too. It hasn't been out for long, I don't think, but... 
This is the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator Powder in Indiscretion. On the rush. I heard someone talk about this. I think it was Casey Holmes. Anyways, um, y'all, get ready. Look at that. My fiance saw this and said, why would you want to use that? It's so pretty. <laughs> Because it's, it's the packaging, I mean, not the packaging, packaging is Laura Mercier packaging. I've never, actually, yes, I have, I've never bought a face product from her. I've bought eye. Almost thought that just fell out. I don't know what that, oh, that was just a plastic. Anyway, so, oh, it is gorgeous um, highlighter. So, um, cause my, actually my, I have Becca Opal and it chattered last weekend. And I went looking for champagne pop, but they didn't have it. So, um, I was going to get both of them anyways. So I just got that one. They had something in stock that I wanted, thankfully. So the rest of this haul is drugstore. Yep. So, I picked up the L'Oreal La Palette, LA Palette, La Palette, uh, mm, this thing, and Nude 1. They have a 1 and 2. I would compare it to um, Naked 1 and 2 because the second one was a lot more cool tones and this was more warm tone. I almost got both of them. I should have, but you know. And, okay, so like in the packaging, you wouldn't guess that those shadows are so big. But holy mama, look at that. Oh, it comes with a little brush, but yes. <laughs> they are gorgeous, especially now Now that I go somewhere, I'm taking this thing with me. Obviously, I'll still care if it gets taken, but it won't hurt as bad. <laughs> Anyways, L'Oreal LA Palette. I really like it a lot. I also got the Maybelline, the nudes. I couldn't find the blush nudes. I was going to get those too, but I just got this one. It comes with, I'm not going to use that. Oh, looks like it's already messed up a little bit. Okay. This is that. I'm sure you've seen this too. It's a great, these are both great drugstore dupes for the naked palettes. Ooh. Um, let's see where to next. So, I also picked up the Maybelline a Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. I mean, a lot of people have heard about this too. Um, they didn't have the lightest shade and I was scared to go with the next shade because I thought it'd be, it wouldn't highlight enough for me. So, I just got the Brightener slash Illuminator Shades shade. It's in 160. It's, I mean, it, it was like the first, it's just to brighten and highlight, I guess. I've heard a lot about this thing though and... We're going to see what it'll do. Next, I got L'Oreal Miss Manga Voluminous Mascara. Everybody's heard about this too. I got it in black as back. But I noticed when I got home, I got it in waterproof. So, now summer's over and I got waterproof mascara. Anyways, hopefully I can still... I'll still find a reason to use it. Um, next, I, I have used this before. And... I decided to repurchase. I don't know why I got so much face lotion. I can only use one at a time, Christina. But this is the L'Oreal Skin Expertise Day Cream Age Perfect for Mature. It's for mature skin. Um, SPF 15, anti-sagging, plus age spot hydrating moisturizer. Um, improves skin density and firmness. Contains soy seed proteins. Um, I, like I said, I have used this before and I did like it. Um, sometimes though, I don't want a, I don't want a moisturizer with SPF in it. So, um, for the days I do, I have this one. I don't think this one had SPF in it. It is not. I don't believe it doesn't say it on the front at least. So, um, that's just if I'm like in a bunch of photography or anything like that. I don't like to use SPF because obviously the white cast from it. And I don't like to use a lot of foundations with SPF either. Just so I don't even have to worry about it. And if I want SPF, I'll just put it in my moisturizer. Mm -hmm. 
So I got these Lilac L'Oreal lip, I guess, pencils you would call them. I've heard about these on here as well. I know they have the Lilac and the La Matte. I would prefer a matte lip. I just normally do. But they did not. I couldn't find those. So um, these are the ones I got. This is in the color. Ooh. Um, well, good job, Christina. These don't have colors on them, actually. Not sure why, but, um, this one is a more red. Surprise, surprise. And I got this pinkish one. I need a change up in my life. I won't put those up right now. Um, I haven't tried this either. A bunch of new, haven't tried this, lip products. This is the Maybelline Elixirs. I believe this is what it's called. It's packaging is like this. I believe it's like a, a lip gloss. It's a lip gloss, but it kind of dries more lipsticky, I think. It looks like the lipstick down in the tube. But anyways, this is in... Yeah, it is the Elixir. Color Sensational Elixir. This is in color 10 Celestial Coral. I don't think it looks very coral, but we'll see. Um, sorry if that didn't focus. I just realized I keep doing that and this thing doesn't autofocus. I mean, it does with the camera, but it doesn't on video. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out. Anyways, um, this is the, I don't even know what these are called, but I love them. The Maybelline Matte. This one. <laughs> um, I have two of them. They're a lot fall colors, but these are all matte colors and... They're fabulous. Um, this one is in Mesmerizing Magenta 680. And it's a great bright fuchsia magenta color. Those are kind of short, maybe. Maybe I've just never rolled a lipstick on the way and noticed how short they are. Um, and then this one is in Lust for Blush. And this is a more muted light pink color. Excited about those. Um, almost to the end, guys. Almost to the end. So I got the Maybelline Color Tattoo by Eye Studio Eyeshadow, 24 hour. This is in bold gold. Um, you could use this as an eyeshadow base. You could use it by itself. It's gorgeous. It's this nice bright gold color. I probably will use it as a base, like for shimmer colors, just to make them pop a little more. I have something else I use like that. Um, I'll have to tell you all about that later. It works great. Actually, I'll just tell you about it now. It is... Maybe I'll tell you about it. Maybe I won't. Oh, no. Don't you hate when you try to look for something makeup-wise and you can't find it? I freak out. Um, like, I just realized that I'm missing an eyeshadow tattoo. Things. I bought one of those before. It was like in the taupe color and I used it as a base. Uh, so much rambling. This Marc Jacobs, I think it's called like a Twinkle Pop. It's an eye stick. I think that Twinkle Pop is, maybe that's the color. Or maybe that's what it's called. I don't know. But these things for eyeshadow bases when you're going to use like saw, like loose glitter or anything that's metallic. Oh, this is the color of it. It's like a nice pewter color. It's so thin. I never noticed that, I guess. My dog's going crazy. Um, those are great for that. And that's by Marc Jacobs. I use it with the... I'm rambling now, aren't I? I use it with the Laura Mercier... What are these called? <laughs> Fairy Dust. If you use this over that... Girl, you got it. These drawers. Ah. The fiance is going to Dallas this weekend. Let's hope he picks up an Alex Nine. <laughs> uh, I've been wanting it forever. Anyways, oh, I'm just skipping this one out. Um, the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. I've heard tons about this. Never used any of them. I was actually looking for the, like the. I think it's called Amber Rush. Don't quote me on that. But um, it's like a pretty rose um, rose gold color. 
yeah. Um, anyways, I was looking for that. I got this one instead, though, because they didn't have that one. This is an iced latte. It is still gorgeous. It's like a platinum icy color. Hopefully you can see that out. Last, but certainly not least, um, some Essie nail polishes. This one is called Private Weekend. It's just a really nice white color. Now that summer's over. <laughs> Although I can rock it, I don't care. Next one is Mint Candy Apple. This was on my hands when I bought it because I'd got it at the, I got it at the nail salon. They painted this and I fell in love. I know everybody used to rave about this. I'm just late on this bandwagon. I never used it though and I was just like, oh, it doesn't look so great in the bottle, but on your nails, girl. Next, I got Tying the Naughty and it's just a nice light pink color. I thought all three colors looked very nice together. Like so, ignore the ones on my fingernails. I'm, I do love Essie nail polish. I like OPI as well. I don't know why, I just like Essie a lot more. Um, this is Essie on my hands right now. But anyways, so that concludes this glorious haul. Um, there probably won't be one. I mean, there'll be one like that again eventually, but not that big for a while. Um, thank you for watching if you, if you stuck through this whole thing. Thank you a lot. This is, like I said, my first video, so subscribe I guess that's what people say right um hopefully I'll have more videos coming up um maybe tutorials I don't know um I mean I just kind of winged this together today but I used a blush I've never used and anyways maybe I'll do some tutorials I'm more of like a lifestyle type of person we'll see um, I planned I planned on initially doing this. My fiance worked offshore, so we weren't really together for a lot of things. We now are, um, he doesn't work offshore anymore, so we now are together for a lot of things. So he gets to help with the wedding planning. He might, <laughs> he might not like that. I mean, he likes doing it with me, but it's just not a guy thing, I guess. But, um, so initially I was gonna do this, a lot of wedding stuff, um, planning and things like that so that he could still watch it while he was out there but now he's not but he's still I mean he's still looking into it we might he might go back um he might go to another state we're just we're chilling for right now um anyway so I but I still even though he's not and he's with me for all this stuff I want to kind of journal in video mode of you know our experience with this wedding planning stuff it's a fun part of our lives and I want to be able to look back on it I want my kids to be able to look back on it someday um you know I just think it's gonna be fun um we've already I'll get into that in another video how about that um so yeah hope you saw this whole video hope you liked it and we will see you next time hopefully bye